Hi, this is Brent Ryan, CEO of Wolfpack Software, and welcome to Wolfpack Wednesdays, a weekly webcast series that highlights the latest developments at Wolfpack. The goal of Wolfpack Wednesdays is to improve communication with our customers and our prospective customers. Each week, we'll cover topics such as new product releases, issues that impact the oil and gas industry, and we'll even take some time to do a little product training. Some weeks, we'll host a live Q&A session with the Wolfpack Wednesday panelists. We're posting these videos on Wolfpack's YouTube channel. To find us, simply go to YouTube and search for Wolfpack. Once you've found us, please click on the subscribe button so that you'll get notifications each time we post a new video. And if you like a video, please click the like icon down at the bottom. And with that, we'll get started with this week's edition of Wolfpack Wednesdays. Well, hi, and welcome back to Wolfpack Wednesdays, episode five, consolidating and combining multiple companies within Wolfpack ERP. And I have with me today, Joel Cox. Joel, say hi. Hello, everyone. And Joel, we pick on everybody that's a first time guest on Wolfpack Wednesdays, and we're going to make you talk a little bit about yourself, just to introduce you to the audience. Uh, we'll start out, what's, what's your role at Wolfpack? Well, I am an RVP here of sales at Wolfpack, and I also do uh, demos as, as well as do training uh, when needed. Okay, and, and focusing mainly on uh, uh, working with our existing customers on the various add-on modules to, uh, uh, to Wolfpack ERP and, and the other products in our product line, right? That's correct. So I, I work as a relationship manager in a way uh, with those people that are existing customer base and help find solutions for them. Very good. So how long have you been at the pack? Well, I've been around Wolfpack since I was 17 years old, but I've been with the actual company. Uh, it'll be nine years this August. So uh, I have a deep, uh, deep roots with Wolfpack. Okay, and in case the uh, Texas Workforce Commission's listening in, <laughs> you weren't an employee at age 17. But, uh, yeah, that's correct. That was correct. Part, uh, part, of, part of the family, been around for a while. Yes, sir. Uh, so speaking of which, where, so where did uh, where'd you grow up? Where did you go to school? Uh, I'm originally from Houston, Texas. Uh, that's where I graduated high school. And then I made the trek up north, uh, just north of Dallas uh, to a town called Denton. And I went to the University of North Texas, uh, uh, the Mean Green Eagles, and I got a degree there uh, in music, uh, and I was also a jazz performance major as well. And then I graduated there, and then I made my way to uh, to Abilene, the great city of Abilene, Texas, nine years uh, ago. Fantastic. Well, given the fact that you have a music degree and you're a jazz performer, I bet you I can answer at least uh, partially answer the last question, which is when you're not working at Wolfpack, what do you like to do? Well, other than listening and playing music, uh, I'm also very active in my community, uh, and uh, I have a almost 15-year-old daughter named Ireland who takes up a great portion of my time, which I totally enjoy. So other than that, that's pretty much what I do, and, and very thankful for uh, having music in my life as well as my daughter as well. So Outstanding. Very good. Well, let's jump into it. So today we're going to talk about one of the most useful add-on modules for Wolfpack ERP. But uh, with my experience in traveling out and talking to Wolfpack customers, I'm, I'm constantly amazed at, at how many folks don't know about this. So we're going to talk about the consolidation and combine module for Wolfpack ERP. And, and I guess for those that are tuning in that, that aren't users of the module, Let's start out with just what is it? Yeah. Well, uh, what the, the consolidation and combination reporting does is it allows you to have multiple companies that you use one single company to pull all the data off the individual companies into one simplified report. And then from there, for those users who have actually used our software uh, and have used our financial reports, it allows you to add as much or as little detail depending on which format you use to those reports as well. Okay, so give me some examples. Why, why I'm, a, I'm an independent oil and gas operator, I'm, I'm an independent you know, first purchaser, or even an investor. Why, why, should I, why should I care about those capabilities? 
Well, why you should care is it allows you to simplify, um, like let's say you have five companies across the board, it allows you to simplify the reporting process. And so uh, instead of having to go into each individual company and, and print each individual report, or some people will export all that in, export all that information to Excel and then try to combine it that way. Uh, this allows you to just have one click of the button. You can change uh, your accounting ranges. You can change your date ranges. You can even change the, depending on which report you're running, uh, how much information is in there. And instead of having to combine those in individual reports, you hit a button and it does it all for you. So it simplifies that process. Got it. So if you have your books organized as a master company with lots of subsidiaries, or if you just have a bunch of affiliated companies that are defined as separate companies within Wolfpack, these modules essentially give you reporting visibility across all of those entities, right? Yes, that, that is correct. It allows you to have that visibility. And what's also great about this product is that you don't have to have the same chart of accounts. So when you set up the product, if you have accounts that are included in one and not in the other, if you have different accounts, it will actually pull that information across uh, all the different accounts just with one simple setup. Yeah, no, I, I can see where that would save uh, a lot of time. And, uh, and, and I know that we have, some, <laughs> we have some customers that are doing this in Excel. It's real easy to, to make a mistake in Excel and this keeps it all within the accounting system and, and really I bet improves accuracy as well. Yeah, that's, that, that is definitely a, a point that's uh, uh, important. The other thing that's nice about it is with any of those manual processes, you have to repull that data each time manually. So those five and 10 and sometimes 30 and 45 minutes add up. Uh, with this, you can actually have the data that's in the system that's being updated live. You can literally change the date range and have the same information without having to repull, re-enter, and then hope that you get your Excel spreadsheet correct. So it really does make things a lot simpler. Fantastic. Well, and I, I know there's a difference between consolidating and combining, and it looks like looks like we have a math uh, example and so something that's going to be on the test later. <laughs> how each one works. So maybe you can walk us through this, and then maybe we can take a a quick demo of of the problem. Yeah, definitely. So if you take a look at the, the chart, uh, on the left side is a standard set of companies. So you have your A company, your B company, and your C company. And so what it does is uh, it's going to show you the different accounts that are associated with the dollar amounts. Now, if you look at the right side, there's a chart or uh, the left side says consolidate, which is your consolidation company and your combined is on the right. So if you noticed on the left, Instead of it pulling from the sub account level, it's actually pulling each company's account code. So it's pulling that 410 from each company and then combining it into the total of 208. Whereas on the right side, instead of it looking at the company level, it's actually looking at the account level with the sub account tied to it and then totaling it up at the bottom. So again, when you go to pull these reports, you can customize it to where it'll either show you on the consolidated side the, the company that makes up those totals with the account, or you could actually see it on the sub-account level uh, with using, using the combined option. Okay, so if, if I understand it correctly, you would probably use consolidate if you're trying to create a set of consolidated financials across a bunch of different subsidiaries, and, and you're really trying to report at the company level, uh, whereas on the combined level, you're actually going at the account sub account level. So if I wanted to take a look at a sub account balance across multiple companies, I would be using the, the combined. Exactly. And so if you had none of that information listed on your reports, the totals would be the same, but just the data that it's pulling from would be different. And that's exactly correct. Because, because typically when you're comparing those things, you want to see the data either from the company level or from the sub-account level. Okay, very good. Well, I'll tell you what, let's uh, take a second and switch over and uh, see a quick demo. Okay, so what I've done here is I've created two companies. They're based off of the same data set because I want y'all to be able to see the information that's the same, but we'll see the detail that's different. So on the left side, I have my consolidation company. 
And on the right side, I have my combined uh, company. What we're going to do is we're going to pull just a simple income statement. And what I've done is I've adjusted our report definitions to show the different information individually. The reason I'm doing this is so you can see how the totals are the same, but the actual data that it's pulling through is different. So anyone that's actually run a report like this, you've seen what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull over one of these reports. I'm gonna go and run this one real quick. Okay. And this first one is gonna be our uh, consolidation company. Okay, so let me go ahead and minimize this. And then I'm gonna compare it with the report on our combined list. Now, what you're gonna notice is, I want you to take a look at the total income for the current period in the first grouping. You're gonna notice that it's that 1 million, that 1.6 million right there. And the data is exactly the same. However, what I've done is I've made the report to a, it'll actually show the detail. So you see the oil sales from the first one is from our learn company. The second one is from our Wolfpack trading company. Whereas on the other side, it's done on the sub account level. So again, it depends on how much detail you want and how you want the system to report. It's still gonna have the same totals. It's still gonna have all the same information, but the detail is gonna be different because when you use the consolidation side, it's just pulling the companies with the account codes. Whereas the other side, it's gonna pull the sub account detail. You can do this for your income statements. You can do this for your uh, balance uh, sheets. You can also do this for your trend reports. What's great about that is when you do your trend reports, it'll actually pull the oil. Typically you'll do like your properties with your oil and gas royalties. What it'll do is it'll actually list at the company level, all of that information for the properties. So you can literally do it from the company level there, or you can do it from the sub account level and it'll report accordingly. So a super useful report. Um, I know in the oil and gas industry, when we, when we do reporting, the trend report is the most uh, kind of common one that we use, your LOS statements and whatnot. This is a great benefit to that. Again, you're not having to manually input this information as, the, as you're running your cycles and that information is being built out and revenue is coming in. You can have all that data live with each report as opposed to manually entering it in. Very nice. Okay, well, thanks a lot for the demo, Joel. That was very informative. Uh, not only got an overview of, of the types of reports that you can generate, uh, but also a bit of a comparison between the consolidation versus the combined reports. Uh, for folks that are interested, where can they go to get more information? Well, the, the first place we always recommend is uh, our website, wolfpack.com. Uh, there's a lot of information and ways to connect with us there. You can also email sales at wolfpack.com, um, and that will uh, get you in contact with me and the other people on my team. And we would love to discuss uh, these options and other solutions. We have so many great solutions here at Wolfpack. Uh, we'd love to talk to you about all those uh, or just have a discussion, explain more about consolidation and combination and how it can assist you with, uh, with your current business. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Joel, for spending some time with us this Wednesday. Thank you to everybody uh, who's viewing the video, and we look forward to talking again next Wolfpack Wednesday.